Thanks for listening to the Protectors of the Wood adventure series. Support us on Patreon at Protectors of the Wood. And to all the eco-warriors out there, remember that everyone can make a difference and every action counts. When I was little Protectors of the Wood Adventure Series, episode number 117. Sunny opens up the mysteries, part one. After the show at the open gate was over, Sunny and Abby said goodnight to her parents and walked to Sunny's shanty through a hard rain. Sonny put a kettle on to boil. You want some mint tea? Lemon balm? Peppermint spearmint? I'll go for the peppermint. She took a seat at the kitchen table. Quite a day. You, my parents, Amy somebody, a friend of Sarah's, then your show. It's a lot to take in. Sonny sliced an apple and slid the plate in front of Abby. He gave her a long look. Abby stared back. So what's that about? Hmm, Amy somebody. That's all you know? Hey, nobody tells me anything. Should I know her? Yes, you should. We've got more to talk about than I thought. Well, who is she? That's Amy Z. Her father is the State Parks Commissioner. She's our line of communication with her father. It's a delicate matter. Very important to all of us, and very fragile. He understands and supports us, but we can't get careless and put his job at risk. Ah, I see. Uh, I know we're both tired, and I'm not sure where to begin. What's at the top of your list? Start us off. Abby looked up at Sonny with a frown and frustration in her eyes. Okay, I've been thinking. The thing is, you'll ask me a bunch of questions when you already know the answers. Let's say I ask you why Amy comes to me with news about the Energy Project, and the United Nations no less, and then schedules a meeting with me, Sarah, and her, to talk about what her professor should be allowed to reveal in his presentation to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. Or, maybe I ask you why I should be the one to hide and protect the map stick. You know the answers. You sent Amy to me. But you won't just tell me. You'll turn it all around as if I know the answers. Sonny put two mugs of steaming tea on the table and took a seat. The room was warm, but Abby shivered from wet feet and exhaustion. Sonny smiled, a spark dancing in his eyes. I'm guilty. I do think that you know most of the answers already, especially about the most important things. But let's have our talk, and we'll see as we go along. I promise to be as frank and straight with you as I can. (sighs) Okay, here we go. Did you send Amy to me? Yes, I did. 
Why me? Think about my options. I can't send her to someone who only knows Rivergate. Someone with no role in the outside world. But obviously I can't recommend anyone who doesn't know Rivergate either. And this crucial job demands being in a regular communication with a core group of people. Because this issue is going to grow and change quick. And will have to be micromanaged. Can I do that? Who can do that? I'll bet you let Sarah make a recording of your interview and said she could let Freddie Bias print it with some minor modifications. I not only said she could, I asked her to get it done right away. Okay, so I meet with Sarah and Amy in a couple of days. They want my take on what should be said publicly about the energy project. But you already gave permission for all of this publicly. But remember, she only has my permission to print my recorded words and her questions with minor alterations. And you should notice, did I mention fuel? She asked me about it, but did I answer? How did I treat the question about why the governor is pushing this so-called relocation plan? Think carefully about what I said and didn't say. Abby took a few swallows of warm tea. Hmm. Maybe you're right about that. <laughs> I know I'm right. Okay, but you're still acting like I'm in charge of something here. A leader of what Tuck calls our enterprise. I'm not the leader. Who is? You adults. You and Wendy and Chi Chi and their father and Tuck. People like that. Are they familiar with both Rivergate and you young people like Sarah Williams? Are they going to reach out to hundreds, maybe thousands of young people? And who created that public relations masterpiece last weekend? Don't tell me that occurred all by itself. <laughs> okay, okay, you got me. But on my level, Phoebe is more important than me. She's running the youth council. Sarah's got the job at the newspaper. Amy has the connection to the climate change panel. The band will develop fans. All these people are important, very important. But who will guide them, help them work in step with each other? Do they talk to me on a regular basis or any of those leaders you named? I see. But I would never have thought of these answers. You did. You may be young, but you're learning fast. And you could come back here anytime to talk to me or Junior. And now you've got Jeremy as your partner. He's a direct link to the energy project. Who do you think thought about you and tried to work that change? Oh, probably Chi-Chi and Wendy. Maybe you and Junior. Sonny nodded. They were silent, drinking tea and eating apple slices. So, you want me to be more upfront in telling you what I think? Okay. Yes. I think you conceal much more than I do. You've got a whole picture of what you're doing that you hide from me, and in that picture are the answers to most of your questions. But you act like I should know more about that than you do. Okay, I'll bite. Tell me about it. It's your inside picture. <laughs> Actually, it's more than that. It has a larger reality around you and way beyond you. What are you talking about? Now, now, don't get all riled up. If you want to know, you'll have to discuss it quietly. And let me ask you a few things. <sighs> all right, get on with it. Tell me, do you remember my father? Abby looked at him in surprise, completely caught off guard. Of course. He helped out with Sunday school when I was little, maybe around eight and nine and ten. And what did he do in Sunday school? What was his role with you kids? He ran the Young Warriors Club with Isaiah and Junior helping. I've been remembering that all day. What was the Young Warriors Club? You know what it was. Why should I tell you? Abby was thinking, muttering to herself. <sighs> this is too private. Why is he prying into it? And 
hands down we'll never make it through this place alive we never knew that the avenue went down this awful dive hang on i can't see no bottom getting ready to fall no time to pray and i'll just say my love to you all the beauty of time passing it flies before our eyes we never saw in this way before the wonder of our lives everything to love everything to fear it's planet earth in the universe and nature lives here give us a chance we'll never forget the truth we're seeing now we'll fight for this world on and on deep into the great beyond there's everything to love everything to fear it's planet earth in the universe and nature lives here see the years for life to grow a billion more for all we know working through the pain and fear see the world through your tears it's planet earth in the universe and nature lives here trillions of living things are everywhere around our lives are all planted deep to the sacred ground there's everything to love everything to fear it's planet earth in the universe and nature lives of living things are everywhere around our lives are all planted deep into the sacred ground there's everything to love and everything to fear it's planet earth in the universe and nature lives here it's planet earth in the universe and nature lives here it's planet earth in the universe and nature lives here it's planet Earth in the universe and nature lives here And nature lives here 